You've got it? That's it? Here you go. You should copy it with your hand at least. I don't want to ruin my manicure. All right. I'm off now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, crash and burn. I will. Here. Auntie Boba, this is the first time I've seen you this semester, right? <laughs> I study at home on my own most of the time. Well, I think that this will earn a satisfactory mark. But why? It's all correct, isn't it? Technically, yes. But there are additional questions. I truly hope that you aren't going to be teaching my subject at school. Don't worry, Mrs. Ivanovna. Neither yours nor any other subject. Because the truth is, I'm not going to teach at all. I've got other plans for life, you know. All the best. Goodbye. Love You Till the End, Part 1. Hey, is it an A? Mm-hmm. Naturally. <laughs> Did you hear that? I hope that you're not going to teach my subject at school. <laughs> <laughs> she picked the wrong girl. You should have taken drama classes. <laughs> <laughs> the theatrical university, who would even want us there? Oh, by the way, thank you very much for helping. Not at all, it's all right. Well, the diploma's in the back. Let's go celebrate. I can't do it. I have a meeting today. Excuse me, what meeting? I'll tell you later. It's getting late. Bye. That's something. Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, Marina. We're going to the Parnas at 7 to celebrate the end of session. Do you want to go with me? Misha. Yeah? We're not going anywhere together. Do you understand why? Why? Because you're going to leave for Uruguay, and I'm staying in Moscow. That's it. Good luck. Guys, excuse me. It's such a pity we have to say bye, right? Okay. Unfortunately, I can't invite you to our place. Marina's there. She'll be upset, and besides... Let's go to my place, then. I can't. Why not? Your hands are frozen. My parents are at the Dasha and my brother's at a photo meeting. Your brother's a photographer? <laughs> Vika. <laughs> He's a basket case. <laughs> <sighs> Why talk about my brother? Let's just go. I want you to know I love you. I love you too. Very much.
Whoa! Good evening. Hello. And who are you? Uh, actually, I live here. <laughs> but who are you? Vika. Well, nice to meet you. And what are you doing here, Vika? Emptying the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I could tell you where the safe is in this nut house. If you stand just like that for a minute, okay? All right? But what are you doing? I'm taking a photo of you. Smile, Vika. <laughs> I'm not going to smile. You know, a girl in a man's shirt's a real classic. Please, let me pass. I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> no, really, stop it. Let me go, please. No. Let her go, Nikita. Why are you even here anyway? You're supposed to be at that photo thing, remember? Look, I'm sorry I finished early, bro. Look, I'm sorry, really. I didn't know you were with someone. <sighs> That's something from you. By the way, she's... What? All right, I'm mute. Vika. You could have at least warned me. I was very worried about you. Marina. Oh. Um. I'm so happy. Maxim says that he loves me. All right, hold on. Maxim, mm -hmm. thank you for telling me your groom's name. How long's it been? Oh, three weeks. Three weeks and not even a word. Thank you, my friend. I thought you were like my well, sister. Why are you starting? Come on. I was afraid. I didn't know how serious it was going to be, and... But you know now? Mm-hmm. All right. Who's Maxim? Is he from Moscow? Oh, so many questions. <laughs> He's from Moscow. He graduated last year with an international law degree. Wow. Don't tell me that he has a full set, a flat, a car, a Dasha. Well, he does have a nice flat. And, and a Dasha. Not sure about the car. Well, if there is a Dasha, they don't walk through on foot, right? No, they don't. Oh, seems like you've done well. You're not so much of a wallflower. Oh, come on. <laughs> when can I meet him? Yeah, I just wanted to ask if it's okay if he comes over here for dinner. I'm absolutely for it. Bring him here, we'll have a look and rate him. I'll check him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good girl. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Vika? Maybe the green one is better? Huh? Is the green one better? Oh, Marina, what's the difference? He's just coming for dinner. Nothing special. <laughs> All right. Then put on the green one. It looks good on you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you even going to get dressed? You've been mm -hmm. cooking the whole morning. He's not a prince. Well, he is to me. <gasps> it's a pity that I didn't remember to buy us hamburgers. Phew, what are you thinking? He'd throw them in the garbage along with yourself. He wouldn't throw them away. He loves them. He he buys them secretly from his parents. He's so funny. That's great. Your prince has quite good taste. Let's put our best roach on the table. Come on, Marina. You're going to love him. You'll see. Just don't poke him, all right? All right, we'll see then. Please, I beg you. All right, I'm not going to touch your prince charming, I promise. <laughs> I'm not dressed yet. Get dressed quickly, I'll Yeah? Open. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. You must be Marina. I'm Maxim. Nice to meet you. This is for you. Thank uh. you. Here he is. Hello, Vika. Hello there. These are for you. Oh, they're so beautiful. Thank you so much. Let me put them in a vase. Hold on, I'll get changed. <laughs> Dinner is served. My dear ladies, <laughs> you've absolutely no idea what kind of beast you've awakened inside of me. Everything looks so delicious. Have a seat. I'm as hungry as a wolf.
You graduated from law school, Maxim? <laughs> Did your parents help you to enter it? Well, I'm actually used to relying on myself. Actually, everyone knows that my father is an alumni and taught there afterwards. It's a dynasty, so to speak. Where do your parents live? My parents? Uh, they died in a plane crash. Relatives raised me. <clears throat> I'm also used to only relying on myself, just like you. I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. Wow, Vika. You look stunning. This dress looks so good on you. Thank you, I really tried. <laughs> now. All right, Marina, help me. All right. <laughs> well, all right, let's eat. Yes, let's eat. All right. Whose drawings are these? These are Marina's. She's very talented, I think. Aren't they great? <laughs> They're great, of course. <laughs> Although I am not exactly an expert in abstractionism. Let's have a drink together. It's a welcome company. Yeah. You did a good job finding him. Good guy from a good family, and he already earns his money. In a few years, he'll be drowning in money with his connections. Just make sure not to lose him. What do you mean? Maxim loves me. <laughs> do you love him? Mm-hmm. He keeps telling me about how things will be for us in the future. <laughs> how will it be, I wonder? Maxim says that common ground is very important. Why did you tell him that your parents are dead, Marina? Because I don't want to have anything to do with those drunkards. I'm done. I've put up with it my whole life. But they're your parents, Marina. Okay, but I'm asking you not to tell anyone about them. Is that clear? Quite clear. What should I tell them if I see them? Where would you see them? I'm going home tomorrow. Mom's ill. Yulia called me and asked me to go. Just tell them that I'm alive. You already know they'll be drunk anyway. How is she? Not good. The doctor comes every day. Go ahead. I'll bring some water. Mom. Let her sleep. Vika. Oh, she's not asleep. Vika. Hello. Here you go. Yulia. What kind of person are you? I asked you not to bother your sister for no reason. Mom. Mom, oh. Mom she did everything right. She was afraid. Give it Here to me. Go. Here you go. Here. What, 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 what? Well. Take it's it. Normal hypertension. Mm hmm. The doctor comes to visit. Actually, the diploma is a big deal. I'm, I'm happy. Who cares about the diploma? It's just paper. <laughs> Do you see what happens without fatherly upbringing? <laughs> what about father? 
He doesn't come at all? Right. Oh, take this off Okay. Me. He has his own happy life without us. He comes sometimes, but then Mom cries all night. That's why her pressure jumps up. Go to the kitchen and put the kettle on. Mm-hmm. Well, you really scared me, Mom. Let me hug you at least. You're so skinny. Why aren't you eating? <laughs> How's your personal life? It's very good. What's his name? Maxim. Maxim. He's a lawyer from Moscow. From Moscow. And Mom, I'm so in love with him. Well, <laughs> of course, he's Tea. a lawyer. And I hope he's in love with you, too. He is. Very much. <laughs> Come me here. Too. Me, me too. too, me too. <laughs> oh, my happiness. Here you go. Thank you. I've been needing this. All the contacts are in here. <laughs> the battery might be dead. I hope so. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ho hold on. Um, hmm? How can I thank you for this? No need. <laughs> Although now that you mention it, I was in a hurry and didn't have time for breakfast. <laughs> so what's the problem? Let's have breakfast together. It's my treat. Let's do it. But there's one thing. I love hamburgers very much. Is that okay? Wow, that's amazing. Wait, what? It's just that fast food is like fresh air. <laughs> Five minutes no. and back to work, <laughs> you know? Are you serious? <clears throat> Are you home? Are you ill? Show it to me. Oh, great. I can't even leave you for a week, Marina. Have you been to the doctor? <coughs> no, thank you. I don't need a doctor. I know that you don't like going <coughs> to them. All right, I'll go to the shop then <coughs> and buy honey and lemons for you. I'll treat you with folk methods, okay? <coughs> oh. Where are all your drawings? I took them down. Tell me why. I don't know. They're from my past. I want to live in the present. <coughs> I believe that husband and wife must have the same interests. They must be fond of the same literature and music, you know, the same okay. art, too. Maxim, that's not possible. Why not? Well, because all people are different, and you just can't make people love the same thing equally, you know? Why do you always argue with me? <laughs> I just have my own opinion. Hold on. Hello. Can Hello. I have a pound of lemons? Here you go. Mm. Yes. Maxim, I need to drop by the dean's office. Otherwise, <laughs> Marina and I won't get our diplomas. That'll be three rubles. They're tasty and very Thank juicy. You. That's good going. Thank you. Thank you. What if I... Go there alone, and you bring lemons and honey to Marina. To Marina? Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Oh, thank you. <sighs> I thought you came to treat me. <laughs> I saw your smile and forgot why I was here. I forgot that I work as a lawyer.
Vika loves you a lot. Too much. And it makes me choke sometimes. But you understand me. You scared me a little. We need to talk. Okay, I'm listening. <sighs> well, I, I don't know where to begin. How, how can I tell you? What's this? Just tell me. Huh? <sighs> tell me, what's happened? <laughs> it's... Uh, it's not gonna be pretty. Mm. I fell for another girl. These are the people who are nearest and dearest to our family. The ones who have known Maxime since childhood. The ones who sincerely wish our boy real happiness in life. Maxime graduated school with honors, brought home a gold medal, got a summa cum laude degree at university. He's been always doing everything to carry on the glorious traditions of our family, Kovalev. We're proud of you, Maxime. And I wish you both a fruitful family life. May you have a long and happy life together. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Kiss now! Kiss now! Kiss now! Kiss now! Kiss now! You having fun at the wedding or what? Hey. Can I, uh... Mm -hmm. There's a suggestion that we listen to some of the bride's guests. They have something to say to us. I want to say something, I... Marina. You're... my first and very best friend. I love you very much, and who's this? I wish the two of you all the best. I, I wish you have a wonderful, happy family. I wish, I'm sorry. Did you invite her? No. So who let her in then? Hey, wait, stop. Hey, you're gonna get hit by a car. What are you doing? Why do you care? They're waiting for you at the wedding. All right, listen to me. Hold on a sec. Max is a real boy. There are millions of other guys like him. I promise you. Listen, if you're so bent on getting married, why don't you just marry me? Oh, you're such a fool. I'll see you soon, by the way, all right? So that's how it is, Mom. All right? I'll find a job at school. I don't care. 
You'll have everything. A husband and children. <laughs> How do you know all this? You'll understand this a lot better when you have your <laughs> own kids. Oh, Mom, if only it could be so easy. Oh, it's getting stuffy. I don't feel well. What is it? I'm hot. What's wrong? I'm okay. Sorry. <coughs> Vika. <coughs> what is it? Are you sick? <coughs> Open the door. <sighs> Open the door. Vika. Congratulations, young mother. You're going to have a baby. So tell me, is it confirmed? Yes. It can't be terminated. Oh, thank God. Vika! I'll come here, too. Vika? It's all right. I'm still strong. I'll help you. We'll raise this baby. Mom, how will we raise it? A child must grow in a proper family with father and mother. Oh, God, I'm such a fool. Why didn't I realize I could have aborted it? Why are you still here? Go to the kitchen now. Go. Come on. Ah. Oh. All right, my dear. Men come and go, and the child stays here. Actually, I don't know where I would be, or what I'd be doing without you two. I don't even know exactly how to say this. You and your sister are my reason to live. Uh, you're the thing that I hold on to in life. Uh, you've got the same, you've got the same light and sunbeam. It's up ahead, uh, waiting for you. Vika, how can I tell you? You are the only thing that really matters to me. Come here. I love you. I love you and your sister so very much, dear. I don't know <clears throat> what to do. Oh, what is this? You're a smart girl. <laughs> You're fine. Yulia, open the door. Mom, who is it? Yes, I Mom. don't know. Wipe your face. I came to visit Vika. Can I come in? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's there, in that room. All right, thank you. Vika. He's here for nice you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, I'm Galina Alexandrovna. I'm Vika and Yulia's mother. This here is Yulia. Yulia. It's a pleasure. I'm Nikita. So? <laughs> Why did you come here without any warning? I could have made pastries, at least, you know? Yeah. Please have a seat. Oh, thank have you. Have a seat. Thank you. Yeah. Take this. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we have some tea. Uh, tea. I can make you tea with uh, mint or apple leaves. They are both very delicious. Uh, Mrs. Alexandrovna, uh, I think that tea with apple leaves is amazing. I, I already liked it. <laughs> are you Vika's classmate? Mom. Well, Listen, I think you're too good looking for the rest of us. <laughs> All right, Julia. Julia, come on. Well? Well? Why are you here? I missed you. Look, Vika, we're not strangers here. I'm worried about you a bit, that's all. This is only the second time we've met. Well, today's actually uh, number three. You want to come for a walk? No. I'm sorry, I have no time today for tea. Let's go, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All 
giant beagle is good for a ride. Only if you don't race it too hard. I'll treat you like a crystal vase. All right. Here you go. Oh, it's heavy. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's really great. Nikita, please, don't take photos of me. All right, all right, Vic, I won't. All right, why are you staring? What? Well, I don't know why. Can't a person just come to talk for no reason? I mean... No, not for no reason. You know what? Uh, at the wedding, I realized that you were the only living person among them I wanted to talk to. I still can't figure out why. What are you hinting at? Vika, why are you getting so worked I'm up I'm not here? getting worked up. I just don't understand what you want. Well, I think the rain's starting. Let's go. I'll walk back home. You're gonna walk? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Change your mind, didn't you? I did. Come on, hurry. Oh, oh dear. All right, here you go. All right. Here. Now the main thing. Is it raining so hard? Yes, it is. And where's your boyfriend? He left. All right. Ooh. Go, 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 Ooh, go, dear your bath. Mom, don't touch me. Get warmed up properly. Uh, uh huh. After that, put on warm clothes and get under the blanket. Do you understand? Vika! Yes. I'm going to the neighbors to get some honey. took so long. You know how it is. We started chatting like neighbors always do. Vika, are you still in there? Get out, you've been in there too long. You can get sick. Vika! Vika, do you hear me? Vika! Vika, open up! Vika! Vika! What are you doing? You're a grown woman. Where is all the savagery from? I didn't know. I didn't want to. Save it, please. Just lie calmly, please. I'll do everything I can. Prepare anesthesia. Oh. 
Pika. Mm. Thank God. Pika. 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 Oh, Mom, why are you crying? Oh. Oh. I'm not dead, you see. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to save the baby. Now, don't blame yourself. You're a healthy young woman. You've got everything ahead of you. You'll be just fine. I'm asking the judge to pay attention to the following. To the following. To the following. Pay attention to the following. I'm asking the lawyer to please pay attention to the following girl behind him. Marina, don't distract me. What? <gasps> You're serious? Yeah. Oh, Marina! <laughs> <laughs> Marina, this is great. It's so exciting. Oh, Marina. Oh, all right. This means that the Kovalevs are entering a whole new level. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suggest we celebrate this event. But from now on, I drink water and tea. Wonderful. Me too. <laughs> all right. I'm off to the meeting. And uh, after that, I suggest that we celebrate. Good luck today. Take care of our son. Or daughter. I brought you the record. Uh, thank you. Do you give this to all of your patients? Not from the administration. This is from me personally. Oh, hello there, doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. We're sorry. It's just oh, a small chocolate don't. bar. This I, uh, can I kiss you goodbye? Galena. Oh, thank you very much for everything you did There is did no for need us. to thank me. Take the patient home. Yes, thank you. Although she's not a patient anymore, if necessary, you call me directly, okay? All right. All right. All the best. Then thank goodbye. you very much, Thanks. Doctor. Goodbye. 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 Thank you. All right. We have this and this, uh, uh well, uh, Let's go. Vika, let's go. I think we got lucky with the doctor. He's so attentive. He comforted me after the operation. I think that maybe he likes you. Please, Mom. What? What's wrong? He's a good man. That's very rare, you know. You should take a closer look. He's the kind of man that you should build your family with. Vika! <sighs> All right, more pastries? You know what? Frankly speaking, <laughs> I've never had pastries with cucumber before. Oh, really? No, I've never. <laughs> but I have to say that the ones with the meat, the ones that we had before... With meat? It was... it was delicious. Really? It was delicious. Really, really, really great. Great, yes. Well, hold on. I'll bring Vika's trademark ones. These are with cabbage. Just give me a moment. Sit down, Mom. I'll bring them. I'll do it. No, come on. It's These all These are right. the pastries with the cabbage, too? Yes. You know what? I'm being offered a promotion at work. Our head of the unit is retiring. He recommended me for the position. That's wonderful. That's great news, Vika, right? Yeah. A promotion. Uh-huh. Well, what wonderful news. Uh, cheers to you. Oh. No, please, sit down. No, 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 no. You know, you are quite serious. And, uh, now you're being promoted. And any great man needs a family, of course. Right? Uh... Especially, and considering your work, 
we all know that it is not that pleasant. Right. And, uh, uh, frankly speaking, uh, many people will be sick around you, I suppose. And, uh, I guess it's hard to handle that by yourself. Yeah. That's a very precise observation, Galena. Sick people are all around. Yes. <sighs> Sick people is a huge understatement, Galena. Yeah. We had a case the day before yesterday. I can tell you if you're interested. Of course. Pay attention. There was a man who uh -huh. swallowed a fork and was delivered right to our ER room. Uh, swallowed? Yeah. It stood up in his food pipe somehow. He was uh. able to breathe, talk, and walk. He decided to remove the fork on his own. <laughs> He took sugar pliers. <laughs> Apparently, he went to the mirror, exhaled, oh. opened his mouth, and tried to extract oh. the fork. And somehow he dropped the pliers down his throat as well. Can you believe that? Oh. He dropped the pliers. Oh. That's <sighs> terrible. Uh, Vika, can I ask you for some more caviar? I've never had anything more delicious in my life. It's delicious. No, oh, you're welcome. It's delicious. This, this is Vika's recipe. It takes five minutes. I have an idea. So. Why don't we have a drink with these chasers? We'll have a drink. We'll have one for yes. sure. Mom, for sure. You down. know what? I have a toast, if you will allow me to. <clears throat> you know, I'd like to drink to you. To your family. Seriously. I'd like to drink to you. And our joint future. I really mean it. Is it to love, then? Hmm, well... All right. I'll Vika. pick it up. Vika! No, no, no. Vika! Our guest was about to say the toast. Oh, Vika! That's, that's, that's all right. Let's drink, Alina, shall we? Oh, thank you very much. All right. Hello? 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 I miss you, you know. Don't you, uh, want to see me? No. How come? Nikita, I'm getting married. You're getting married? How? Oh, that's a trick. It didn't take you a long time to find a groom. All right, can I call you at least? I don't know. Do as you wish. Goodbye. Goodbye. Blessed be the teacher! Blessed be the earth! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Our assembly is over. Get to your classrooms. You may all file out this way, please. Let's go. During your first assembly? All right. Irina, please accompany the kids to the class. Hello, I thought you were on duty. I'm on duty. I've asked for five minutes to congratulate my wife on the day of knowledge. Oh, this is so unexpected. I'll run right back. They hardly let me go. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Uh-huh. You've got such a wonderful man, and the bouquet is amazing. You should value him. I do, Lucia. Don't worry about that. Yeah, they've rescheduled the hearing again. Don't worry, it's better for us in the end. It's all right. Look, it's okay if you don't understand it. Just trust me, please. All right. Good. Is everybody here? We need to get going soon. That's a nice jacket, Nikita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look good. Now all that you need is a good wife in addition to that. The family's the latest fashion trend, you know? All the stars take photos with their wives. He'll be all right alone on the cover. Dear brother, the family is forever, all right? And I'm not yet ready to look into eternity. I think that building relationships based on affection are a relic of the past, you know what I mean? Yeah, and playing with a girl's heart for so many years isn't a relic, right? Natasha and I have free love. You can ask Natasha. <laughs> does Natasha know it? She does. Yes, and she wants to change things. I didn't care if he came tonight. Maxim, tell him that taking photos for one's own ego is a wasteful thing. Uh-huh. It's very wasteful. Uh-huh. You can't change him, Natasha. Either accept it or have children together. Then he'll grow up for sure. Oh, no. I want to live for myself. All right, let's go then. Let's go. How are the girls? Asleep. Let's go. Hey, 
can I please borrow $25? Uh. What for? It's for a raincoat, a wonderful bright red raincoat. They'll only hold it for another half hour. <clears throat> All right. Please, will you come with me? There's a great skirt, but I don't know if it looks good on me and I need your opinion. Come on. No. But... You can go without me. My husband has the day off. I made him dinner. Oh. Do you want to join us? Nah. Keep dreaming. Look, I think you're nursing your seminar Get out. Too much. Go. It's not normal to cook for him every day. Fun. So? How's the borscht today? Your borscht is always amazing, Vika. <laughs> but I could use a glass to complement this still life painting. Can we do that without a glass? Vika, come on, it's my day off. Give me a drink, will you? Why don't we go somewhere? Maybe to the museum? I've seen everything at the museum. I watch movies at work every day. I cry and laugh and see people beat each other up. Vika, I'm tired. Can't you understand that? Bring me a drink, please. Thank you. We have a plasma TV at home. What's more, there's the Russian Cup today. Semi-final. The notorious proceedings of the entrepreneur Konovalov are in progress. The defendant is advocated by the famous lawyer Maxim Kovalev, and journalists are watching the events keenly. The clash between the city's representatives and the famous lawyer continues, and we are going to be doing... Honey, please switch it back. Switch it! I want to watch the news, please. I want to watch this. And I want to watch the news. Here. Go watch your news. We'll provide all of the necessary documents. Unfortunately, in the interest of my client, I'm not going to disclose information. Thank you. I'm sorry. I understand you. I can do without drinking, you know? I'm not an alcoholic. But I miss you, you understand? You're always studying your books. Oh, well, I thought I married a reasonable and calm man, and he... And he's still full of strong powers and desires. I'm going to Moscow to the bookshop for teachers. Will you be okay here? I suppose so. Where are you? I'm sure that will manage to get ahead. Yes, just don't worry, okay? Mr. Kovalev, good afternoon. Good it afternoon. It has become known that the prosecution has presented a new witness. How would you comment on this event? I believe that it's all still too early to say that the case is over. We're sure of our victory, though. And we're, uh... We're hoping for a positive outcome. Vika. Vika. What a surprise. Hello. Why are you here? There's a restaurant nearby. Let's go there. Tell me everything. Come on, let's go. Are you hungry? This place is great. <laughs> a little bit. We'll have lunch and catch up. You've changed your look quite a bit. Oh, come on. I become the head of my father's company. Now I just work like a dog. My parents live in Europe. Marina, she stays at home. She takes care of our girls. The junior one's going to school soon. A perfect family. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Do you work? Are you married? Yes, everything's good. I'm married. My husband's a surgeon. I work at school, basically, what I've always wanted. I'm happy for you, I really am. Thank you.
Excuse me. Sure. Yes, Marina? The hearing is over, yes, yes. They didn't even stand a chance. Tickets? Yeah, sure. Book them. Uh-huh. All right. I'm sorry. I have to go. See you sometime, all right? Bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello. Why are you so early? Why early? I'm right on time. I have a lot of work to do. I need to prepare for my test. Why are you home? You're supposed to be at work. All right, Vika. Listen, please, don't give me your hysteria, all these... all these jealousy scenes. Don't pretend that you're jealous of what I'm doing. Move from the door. What? Move away from the door. No. Over my dead body. Be careful what you say. Who's there? You had a date with that lawyer, right? What? What are you talking about? What lawyer? The lawyer. The one you're crazy about. You think I'm blind? I know everything. Don't raise your voice at me. Let me in the room. This is my house. Oh, <laughs> Victoria Dmitrievna, hello. Yeah, Semenov. I didn't expect this from you at all. What if this is true love? Love is when people care for each other, not walk around someone else's flat naked. Well, it can be easily fixed. By the way, the flat belongs to Vyacheslav. <gasps> can I have a moment with you? What's all this circus about? Are you having an inferiority complex? And you're feeding your self-esteem? Well? How long have you been doing this? It doesn't matter now. No, it matters, Semenov. Because this is my family. And I want to know when I stop being a wife to you. You were never a wife to me. Your headaches? Then you're studying. School is more important to you than I am. And I'm a man, by the way. I need a woman. And so you cheated on me? I'm sorry for interrupting, but it surprises me how you tolerated this dullard for such a long time. <laughs> really, Vyacheslav. Would you love. shut up, please? All right. I'm getting a divorce. I'll take the money later. Goodbye, Semenov. Are you crazy? A divorce? <laughs> Let her go. Good men don't grow on trees after all. And by the way, we'll manage here on our own without you. Don't catch a cold, Lucia Semenovna. You're always naked. Although my husband is a gynecologist. He'll heal you quickly. We decided to go to that hotel. Sorry for the mess, I'm running way behind. <laughs> it's just we haven't been away in a year and I like everything very organized, yeah? Oh my god, Marina, I want to go with you so badly. <laughs> Lie on the beach, drink wine, and do nothing for work. But Nikita would never agree to it. He's only attracted to places with conflicts. Hmm, I think you're exaggerating. He really is a good photographer and he Likes beauty in different types of places, that's all. But what's wrong with the sea? He won't go just out of spite. All right, listen. If what you want is to have a family with him, mm -hmm. remember, the most important thing is to have things in common. Look, I'm already breaking my neck here. I try to organize exhibitions and try to find jobs, but he keeps refusing. Men don't like when you force them into things. Why don't you try to be more delicate, offer to go somewhere together, Somewhere he wants to go, or come with him to an expedition as his assistant. Why not? Show him that you're interested in him. Help him somehow. 
Do you think it'll help? Why not? He'll appreciate it. He's going to some hole in Corellia in two days. I refuse to go, but I'll agree now. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna go make more coffee, yeah? All right, I'll be right back. Who's this person? You shouldn't be bringing anyone Natasha, home. I'm shooting here. This isn't just someone, all right? She's a charismatic person. Her face says it all. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What does my face say? What do you need? I'm working. I'm sorry. Keep working. Nikita, I've been thinking, and I've decided I'm coming with you. <laughs> <laughs> Where to, Corellia? Uh-huh. Natasha, are you crazy? <laughs> There's no spa centers or beauty parlors. There are army conditions there. The toilet's outside. I'm okay with all of that. In order not to be a burden, I'll be carrying your lenses. Are you ill? <laughs> Nikita, listen. I change over time, too. And, and I don't want to just watch you work. I want to be with you. I hope you won't deny me this opportunity. Well, if you don't run around the village looking for sushi and wine, I'm for it. I mean, I'm basically for it. Nikita, I respect and appreciate this, and I want the same in return. Am I coming? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Let's go on. Uh, can you lift the drum a little bit, please? So, Doctor, is everything all right with me? There are no completely healthy people in our times. I suggest you stay home from your trip and have additional tests done. No, hold on. We've been planning this for a year. The kids are on vacation. I have an idea. I'll stay out of the sun and stay in the shade. Is that possible? Yes, stay in the shade. But as soon as you get back, don't forget to come for a complete examination. Yes. Are we agreed? I promise you. Thank you. All the best. All the best to you. Well, how is it? The angle isn't right. I need to change it. Hold on a sec, okay? The angle's bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nikita, I'm so glad we came here. Me too, Natasha. Mm, get back to work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do you think it's better from there? I do. Uh. Oh, wow. Nikita, please be careful. <laughs> Is it beautiful? Oh, yeah, there's a real beauty. All right, I need to take it from here. <laughs> Nikita! Yes, Natasha? Hold on, what happened? He fell? Wait, what do you mean? All right, calm down. Hold on, I'll tell Maxim everything. We're coming right now. Tell me what happened. Nikita fell down and broke his leg. Natasha's hysterical. She's out of control. <sighs> Hold on, what, what did you say? We're coming right now? Because they need our help. Well, he is your brother. Exactly, Marina. He's my brother. 
The one who always ends up in the craziest situations. Do we always have to interrupt our holidays and go rush and help him out? If it were you, you wouldn't interrupt your holidays? Marina, this is different. It's just a leg. And we're on the other side of the world. Sit back down. Marina. Please. Listen to me without interrupting. It doesn't matter whether it's just a leg or not. He's your brother. He wouldn't have left you in trouble. <sighs> Maxim, I love you very much. But you can't do this to your family. You need to decide whether you're coming with me. Nikita, I told you, you should stop doing this stuff. No. Nope. And you were very lucky. Come on. Well, Natasha, let's not talk about it right now, all right, please? Lie down. Look what your adventures have brought you to. Oh, thank you. And what for? I mean, just for a few photos that nobody is going to buy? Well, I still love my job. And I won't... You never listen to me, and... You know, Nikita, I don't know much about your pretty sunsets and waterfalls, but I know people very well. Hmm? I'm gonna become your manager. What manager, Natasha? I haven't sold a single photo in my entire life, okay? That's exactly why I wanna do this. Take a look, I've prepared an agreement. If you don't like something, we can change it. Oh God, what agreement? Hello there. Oh, what's up, Max? Maxim, hey there. You decided to come, huh? Well, yes. Well, I'll go. You can have him. Get well soon. Bye. Hey. <laughs> hey, Nikita, what's, what's up? up man? How are you feeling? Yeah, everything's fine overall. You know, I'm glad you're here, bro. Well, how else would it be? <laughs> <laughs> here, this stuff's for you. Put it behind the table, man. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll see your doctor first yeah. off, and then we'll chat later. Sounds good. Well, Vika. We're free as birds now, I suppose. I wish you a happy flight. Where are you running to, Vika? As always? Are you in such an incredible hurry? I thought we'd go out and, and say goodbye to each other. You shouldn't drink so often. Take care of yourself. Or your hands will shake during your operations. So what? As if it concerns you anymore. If you'd valued me at least a little, Vika, I would have never noticed anyone else. Do you think I needed her? I was tired of begging for your attention. Don't you get it? I'm sorry, my dear. We never should have married. We're too different. All right, I've got to go. Take care. Bye. Vika, I'm very sorry. We have to lay off one teaching position this year. Excuse me, but what are the grounds? Lucia Semenova, who's pregnant, has applied for financial aid, and our budget is very low. Therefore, I'm giving your position to her. Your qualification, however, allows you to teach the preparatory group. But the rate for that group is much lower. Do I have to look for a new teacher? All right, I agree. Are we finished here? Of course, you're free to go. <sighs> she won't let me live. I'm sick of her jealousy. She isn't jealous. Vika treats you quite decently. Oh, you don't understand anything. <sighs> Look, why don't we remove her from the school? For some time, at least. After all, your family gets free treatment at my husband's hospital. Look, Lucia, I've got 30 years of job experience. I can be cruel, but I'm not mean. I've already done everything that you asked me to do. Yes, hello, Vika. Hello, Nikita. I wanted to ask how your expedition went. 
What? What hospital are you in? Excuse me, who do you need? Nikita Kovalev. He's been taken for examination. Oh, how is he? No, he's doing all right. He's recovering. Who are you exactly? <laughs> who are you? I'm his wife. And you? I just... I just brought him something, a gift. Could you maybe give it to him, please? Oh, <laughs> of course I can. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Beka? Yeah? Do you have some male teachers at your school? Yes. For P.E. and computer skills. P.E. is the bald one, right? Yes. Are you asking for me? Well, at least somebody in our family has to. You're still so young. It's not too late. Mom, I'm not ready to discuss my personal life. It's because you don't have one. Mom, don't start, please. I'm not starting. Yes, you are, No, Mom. I'm not. Tell me, please, where is your Nikita these days? He's in the hospital. He broke his leg. Oh, my dear. You should visit him. You can go and help out. He's being taken care of, all right? That's enough. Please stop. Oh, Vika. You're going to end up alone. I'm telling you truthfully, you will end up alone. You've lost your husband, and you won't look at anyone. Can you please just leave Maxim alone? No, I can't. He's not coming back. Can't you see it, Vika? What if I still love him, just like you loved my own father? Oh, don't compare us. It's not the same at all. Your father and I had two children and a wonderful family life. Besides, what do you have? Tell me that. Go ahead. A couple of dates and that's it. I just hope that you'd be happier than me by now. Mom. Mom, stop it, okay? Enough, stop. Mom, I'm sorry, really. Forgive me, Mama, please. Hey. Hey, you guys, why all the crying? All right, Mom, wipe your tears, you can celebrate. Get ready. Someone's just proposed to me. So be happy. <laughs> what about? Propose to do what? The two of you are really clueless. I'm getting married for God's sake. We have our only beloved son. You have a daughter. The wedding is a serious thing in our family. We need to celebrate it in a big way so that our town will know the Verbludovs are not some hobos. What she really means is, <laughs> is that we do a big wedding, mm -hmm. <laughs> so everyone will envy mm. us. That's right, Stas. What's the price of a big one? Huh? <laughs> Give it. Hmm? We've prepared a preliminary mm -hmm. calculation. Ah, mm -hmm. right. Here you go. Uh, well, you prepared. Okay, now. Good. Uh... Ooh. Oh. Here, here, look. Oh! 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 Huh. Oh, this is a lot of money. Yeah. Well, what did you think? Let's seal it. By having a drink, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I... But I do know. Good restaurant. Decent cuisine, wonderful spirits, and some important guests. A mm. uh, honeymoon trip might be better. A great gift for the newlyweds. Yes. So that they have great memories. Yeah. Hmm? Excuse me, but are you married? No. No. They can spend their honeymoon at our dacha, uh. all together. 
<laughs> Please believe me. We know what's best. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What about asking us? Right, honey? What did you want, Yulia? Oh, I'd like to wear a white dress. And also have a photo album, so I can raise my kids and show them pictures. Well, that goes without <laughs> saying. And what's next? How will you two live? We've already discussed it. Where are you going to live, newlyweds? Mom, we have a four-room flat. We'll live there. Kostya, two mistresses shouldn't be overcrowding each other in the same kitchen, right? <laughs> Actually, a young family should live separately. That's right, that's right. right. That's why we're going to split you. S split us? Oh, what do you mean exactly? My sister's a realtor. She'll change this apartment to two one-room flats. Mom goes one way and the newlyweds go another way. <laughs> yeah, but what about me? <laughs> what do you have to do with it? Who are you? <laughs> Well, she's my sister, and she lives here, too. Really? Huh. huh. Uh, you know what? Let's not be uptight about this. Come on. Let's drink together. Don't forget, girl. We are going to be family now. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Mom, I guess. We will live together, then. Um... Uh... Our apartment will stay, uh, the way that it is. Mom. Stars come. Kostya, come. Yeah. We should go. But why? Let's just have one drink. Stars, we should go. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. The pleasure was ours. Kostya. <sighs> Honey? I'm gonna call you, all right? Honey? Listen, Vika, I need you to join me when I report the catastrophic situation with P.E. And but then about you the shouldn't worry issues. anyways. Our arguments will Shall outweigh their doubt. Shall we speak about us first, our lower grades? Oh, hello there. Good morning. I'll be downstairs. Hello. Mm-hmm. Why are you here? Uh, we're... we're going to ask for money for the school. I'm doing the same, basically. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Let's go, we're running late. Would you like some coffee? Uh, yeah, why not? I'll wait for you downstairs. Vika, let's go, we're going to be late! Do you always go to the same restaurant? Well, practically. Please, sit down. Mm-hmm. It's just the food here is so good and the service is discreet. What would you like? Coffee? Or perhaps something stronger? Well, you know what? Let's go for it. I've been having such a good day so far. The same with me. Dima, two glasses of dry white wine, please. You've got dripped on somewhere. <clears throat> you know, it's surprising that we met today. <laughs> this city's so small. <laughs> Actually, I live in another city. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, here's to the successful ending of the day. Mm-hmm. You look unusual today. What do you mean? Well, you look different to me. Maxim, hold on. so dear to me.
still love me? You don't have to answer. I know it. Hello? Yeah, Marina. Um, I I'm sorry I didn't call. My client's just a pain in the neck. Yeah, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm already on my way. Vika, look. Can we meet here once a month? I, I can't do it any more often than that. Hold on, I... Uh, meet you here? What do you mean? Well... If this embarrasses you, then... Let's just act as if nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. That's it. Calm down. Have a drink. Here you go. How could he do this? How could he leave me a week before the wedding? He's just a mama's boy. You want the truth? Yeah. He's no match for you. Perhaps it's not bad that he left. <laughs> That's all right. Time will pass. You will calm down and meet a decent man. Screw that one. Here you go. Drink it and stop crying. Well, apparently, all the women in our family are cursed. We're all dumped. What are you talking about? Dumped. Now that's a word. No. We're... We're proud and independent. Is that clear? I just wish we had a three-room apartment and you were happily married. <phone rings> Hello, honey? Hello? Hi, Vika. Someone had promised to come. Nikita, you have someone to take care of you. Vika, why are you talking to me like that? What's with you, huh? I don't understand. Look, I'm busy right now. I can't talk. All right, I'll call back then when you can actually talk. Bye. Goodbye. Well, my dear, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Mm. Sister, you're a fool. What's that? No, no. I mean you're proud and independent. <laughs> That's right. All right. Vika! Hello. Hello there. <sighs> Is it a boy? A boy. Kolya. It's all right. <sighs> Take a look at it. Now, who does he look like? He has his mother's eyes, of course. But my nose, my chin, and my eyebrows. He's a strong guy. I'm crazy about him. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. It's all right. I can see you're a wonderful father. You really think so? I'm certain of it. Sorry, it's getting late for school. As always. Uh-huh. Take care. Sure. 
Shall we try it? Go ahead. All right. <laughs> oh. oh, damn, Natasha's worth so much money. But you have dreamt about it. How did you know? <laughs> it's not that hard to guess your dreams. At least it's good that you're not a pianist. It would be much more wasteful to try and order a whole piano. Oh, but this is a lot of money anyway. Where did you find it, huh? Tell me. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get you know, it. I almost didn't bargain with them, and then I regretted it. They ordered a whole set of photos. Can you imagine? I think I missed your thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. You're a real manager, huh? Mm. <laughs> imagine how we're going to live now. Well, we shall see them. Mm. I finally lived long enough to see it happen. Mm. You can get dressed. Here are the tests, sir. Uh-huh. All right. Just tell me straight up. <sighs> you were the one who told me I could be in the shade, remember? Last time I was trying to talk you out of going at all, and I said that you needed to undergo an exam, and you've waited till now. Hold on, but it can be cured, right? Well, I'll try every option. I'll prescribe a course of enhanced therapy. Yeah, of course. My husband is starting a new case. I'll come as soon as I can, okay? You don't understand. We need to start today. It's very difficult to achieve recovery at such a stage. Unfortunately, your disease has developed quickly. It happens sometimes. Mom, Karina was scolded in music school today. Karina, you should study more carefully mm -hmm. and don't be a tattletale. Mommy, what's wrong with you? You've been sitting like this for a long time. <laughs> Want to watch some cartoons? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, sleepy princesses, why aren't Hello, you in bed? Daddy. Come, come. Hello, Dad. Get your toys and your drawings. Do it quickly. Oh, sorry, I haven't made supper. <sighs> Marina, you don't look well. I guess I'm just tired. Look, if you feel too exhausted, we could hire a maid. I've told you many times, Marina. Oh, come on, it's all right. Are you sure? I'm sure. Mom? All right, get to bed. But we're hungry. <sighs> Sit down and eat. Eat. I'll go and get changed. Hey, can I help you out, miss? Hello? Nikita, how are you? I'm having an exhibition. I'm becoming a cult figure. And oh, I'm inviting wow. you. This looks serious. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> so will you come? No. Why not? Because I don't want to see your lousy relatives. Vika, it's all long in the past. Haven't you made peace with your husband yet? What's the matter with you? And what if I want to propose to you? 
What about your wife? Oh, Natasha? Yeah, Natasha. No, Natasha's not my wife. She's my manager. Oh, that's what she's called now. Maybe you're jealous. That's why you don't want to come. Kovalev, you're hopeless. Give me back my groceries. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, my restless girl. Hi, Mom. Hello. <laughs> uh, Mom, would you like to go to Nikita's exhibition? Me? Mm-hmm. Well, what about you? I don't want to. You don't want to see Marina, right? Don't remind me about her. Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. I thought it stopped hurting already. Sorry about that. I'll tell her not to call you anymore. When did she call me? Two times, and she said she'd call back. Oh, hold on. I'll pick up. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Mika, this is Marina. Listen to me, please. I really need to see you. Hello? Hello, did you hear me? 